welcome back Team Brisk. This video is going to focus on using DOK or depth of knowledge questions. These types of questions typically range from simple recall questions at the DOK1 level all the way to evaluating and using those critical thinking skills at the DOK4 level. This is going to be a dream. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We're on the main Brisk tools page, which you can always find at bit dot Lee slash try brisk tools. Let's go ahead and click try it. We know by now that Brisk is going to open up a fresh Google Doc for us. And since we've started by playing in the sandbox, it's already opened up the Brisk extension down here in the bottom right. And we've got that library of things that we can choose from. Let's go ahead and choose DOK questions. I'm very familiar now with my brisk box here. I'm going to go ahead and start filling it in with what I need. I need DOK questions. And so what I'm going to do is tell brisk, I would like it to use this standard that I've selected. This is a high school standard based on polynomials. But I know that in my class, I've got students at least three years below grade level and some up to two years above grade level. So I'd like them to take that into account as they generate some questions from me at all four DOK levels. And I'd like them to include that I have students that are um, English learners or multi-language learners and students with disabilities. So I put my grade level in there and I'm going to go ahead and choose brisket. This is an absolute dream for anyone who teaches a combo class or classes that have multiple grade levels in one period or one setting. Um, this could be anywhere from a K-1 class uh, where you're working on teaching reading and you need variation in your questions all the way up to what we're seeing here, something like a high school course where you have multiple grade levels or ability levels enrolled in your course. And take a look at what Brisk has generated for us. This is wild. It takes our standard, it starts with recall questions, and it gives us a little activity idea with the little light bulb over here. So it's got ideas about using flashcards, then we move into skills and concepts, strategic thinking, and all the way down to that DOK level four of extended thinking. One of my favorite pro tips, let students choose one question from each of the categories for their assignment, activity, or homework that day. That way they're starting where they feel most confident and giving you their best work. Thanks for tuning in to the DOK Brisk Bite. We'll see you for another one soon.